The Hang Clean is a closed kinetic chain multi-joint lift that involves lowering a barbell to the knees and then bringing it to the shoulders in one fast and explosive movement. This lift is an ideal exercise for any athlete looking to improve their power into triple extension. Here we will be discussing the hang clean and also hang clean progressions. The Romanian deadlift or RDL is a great lift for developing your posterior chain. It is also a great lift for learning how to do the hang clean as it is the perfect lift to set us up in the first movement of the hang clean. The setup for the RDL begins with your feet being hip width apart. Then grab the bar outside the legs. Finally extend the knees and hips and stand up with the bar. The eccentric phase of the Romanian deadlift begins with a slight bend in your knees. Then push the hips back. Keep your shoulders out over your toes and maintain a lower back arch. Let the bar slide down the front of your legs. Your weight should be distributed towards your heels and you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. The concentric phase begins by lifting the bar while flexing your hamstrings. Once the bar is over your knees, then squeeze your glutes to finish the movement. Always maintain your lower back arch throughout the movement and never round your back. The next lift in the hang clean progression is the power shrug. And unlike the RDL, this is going to be a fast, powerful, explosive movement. The setup for the power shrug is just like the setup for the RDL. You want your feet hip width apart. Rip the bar directly outside your legs and stand up with the bar. The eccentric phase begins with a slight bend in your knees. Push your hips back. Keep your shoulders out over your toes. Maintain your lower back arch and let the bar slide down your legs. Stop just above your knees and you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. For the concentric phase, we're going to release all that stored energy in the hamstrings. We're going to explosively fire the ankles, knees, and hips while simultaneously shrugging the shoulders while trying to maintain straight arms. The final lift in the hang clean progression is known as the high pull. And just like the power shrug, you want to apply maximum force against the ground, this time trying to elevate the bar all the way up to your shoulders. For the setup, the feet should be hip width apart. Rip the bar directly outside the legs and stand up with it. The eccentric phase of this lift is identical to the previous two lifts. There should be a slight bend in the knees. You want to push the hips back and keep the shoulders out over the toes. Maintain lower back arch. Let the bar slide down the legs and stop right above the knees. For the concentric phase, explosively fire your ankles, knees, and hips into triple extension while simultaneously shrugging your shoulders. Allow your elbows to bend out over your hands, trying to get the bar as high as possible. We've now progressed to the hang clean, which involves actively pulling yourself underneath the bar and catching it or racking it across the shoulders. For hand cleans, you may want to experiment with a hook rip. A hook rip involves wrapping your thumb around the bar and then wrapping your fingers around the thumb. This will allow you to pull more weight on the bar and get more benefit out of the hand clean. For the setup, feet should be hip width apart. Grip the bar slightly outside the legs and stand up with the bar. The eccentric phase here is identical to the previous lifts. There should be a slight bend in the knees. You want to push your hips back while keeping your shoulders out over your toes. Maintain lower back arch and let the bar slide down the legs to just above the knees. For the concentric phase, you want to apply maximum force against the ground as you explosively fire the ankles, knees, and hips while simultaneously shrugging your shoulders. The final movement in the hand clean is known as the catch or the rack. Once the bar is at its highest point, fire the elbows underneath and past the bar. Loosen the grip to allow for wrist to turn over. The bar should fall and rest on the meat of the shoulders across the clavicles.